Hello everybody, my name is Hofstadter and welcome to the final installment of the Seven Years War. This, well, this is not the final installment, this is the last historical battle. Now this battle was fought between two coalitions, the first coalition which I am playing and which was a decisive loss for them is, is with the um, <clears throat> Saxons and the French, while, and I am versing a group of British Hanoverians and Prussians, I think I pronounced Hanoverians incorrectly. If that is even a word, but who cares, I'm going to go with it anyway. Now, what is interesting about this battle is that it's really hard to decide whether this was an attack or a defense for either side. Essentially, the British decided to split up their forces into small groups, and to trick the French into attacking, they eventually met on this field a little bit north of Minden, which is here, and just duked it out. Eventually, the French lost, the <clears throat> the British infantry were much too strong, and these guys just buggered off with a whole lot of casualties. And this is considered to be one of the, one of the British... British <clears throat> one of Britain's most influential victories. I think they called it the year of Annus Mirabilis or something like that. It doesn't matter. So let's get this started. I know the the French are going to be attacking very soon because the AI does have a tendency to attack in this, but we're going to cheat a little bit. I don't feel great about it, but that's just how it goes. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about Oliver Kapamula released a new update quite recently, and it introduces two new things. The first is this sexy new eye with huge buttons, which I love. It is what we have been asking for for quite a while. And this new line of sight thing, which I will show a bit later when the battle starts getting chaotic. As you can see, it's a little bit different. And it, it, it works quite well from what I have been seeing. Alrighty, what have we got here? Alright, I'm happy with that, and we'll send these guys across the river in March Columns. Right, triple line? No, no. what's it going to do? Triple line, single line, March Column, come on, work for me. Alright, there we go. And we'll set up barricades as soon as these guys have moved into position. Alright, start digging the barricades, we've got the French arm moving down, they have taken those towns. And we'll just go away for everybody to move up. Now what's this guy? I think that guy's moving there. We'll stop him a little bit and just keep him there. Not that fast. Alright, and this entire group, wait, what the hell? Why aren't they? Alright, that's a mixture. We'll get them to build their barricades, get these guys to build their barricades. Alright, where's that last bit of French art artillery? I have no idea. I know it's around here somewhere. I seem to have lost it. Where's the order of battle? It's over there. Alright, we can get that to rake down the flank, because I think that is what actually happened. They set the, up their artillery and just rake down this line here. So hopefully we can do oh, get rid of this. Do the same thing. Now, build your barricades. Unlimber. There we go. Now everybody is nice and set up. What's this? That is... Alright, just a bit more cavalry, so we'll move these up here. And what is... Oh, okay. I thought <clears throat> that was just one or two horsemen in that brigade. Alright, it's at full speed, so I guess we just have to wait for them to come in. Alright, looks like we have engaged as uh, some Ford scout, sc for some reason they're scouting artillery groups. I'm not too worried though, because everybody is set up behind barricades that are relatively well sheltered from enemy fire. Alright, get them there. Alright, looks I have reserve cavalry behind all of my lines. I've got these guys moving up to take the town. And eventually I might set these guys up in the forest there. So we'll actually do that. Wait, do, does this group... 
I just want to make sure I'm not taking out any artillery because I want to set up, set up there as well. Alright, which one does have the artillery? I'm sure one of them has it. It is this one here. So we'll set them up. Wait, are they selected? Oh my god. We'll move them up here. Oh crap! There they are. Alright, well we have a scouting force. That is... Crap, 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 crap. Alright, where's where's the frickin' flag? There it is. Alright, which ones have... Alright, that's bad. That is very bad. Alright, are they unlimbered? Let's unlimber them. There we go. Alright, I did mention I want to talk about this line of sight thing. As you can see from the start, there is a shifting line of sight. It looks so it looks a lot like the gravity line of sight button. As you might be able to see some cones there. Actually you can see it. There's some little cones there which indicate every single platoon inside a single element. And basically, as each platoon's line of sight changes, the entire group's line of sight changes. Well, not the entire group for that platoon, but this will change it as well. As you can see, <clears throat> we now have total line of sight, well, not total, but a fair bit, over the area. It is quite nice. Oh, oh, did I tell you to retreat? Get out of there. Alright, looks like we have engagements up here. What is happening? French, alright, British charging of cavalry. So we'll get everyone to attack that because these guys are quite weak. And I think they, I don't know what this enemy is doing, but hopefully it will end up badly for them. Alright, alright, alright. We got the lines charging from up there. Looks like enemy has in, wait, no, they haven't engaged just yet. There's some grenadiers au cheval. Uh, where's that artillery group? It is over here, so we'll set up that set that up there, and we'll move the reserve cavalry into position. And it seems we have engaged in melee over there. Okay, that's good. Hopefully they can. Okay, they may win that battle. They've caused six casualties for the enemy. We'll let them join the party as well. Where's the formation? Set up boxes for these three because it looks like the cavalry is having a charge. Hello, hello, Hoff. Yo. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Hang on, I'm making a video here. Can I call, can I get back to you later? Go to the AFK channel. I can't because if I alt tab, it will crash. <laughs> All right, sorry. Thank you. Sorry about that, that was a friend. I really should alt tab out. But unfortunately, as people who have played this game, played this game have seen, the colors go all weird, everything goes gray, it's quite odd. That's why I have to play it in the window mode because it, it just doesn't work if you alt tab out. Alright, we'll get these guys to charge and try and clear this flank of enemy. That will allow me to wheel down because see, most of the enemy is in the center. Oh crap, it looks like they've engaged the melee. I forgot to set the freaking boxes! Go. Go. And go. Alright, hopefully they'll get into position quickly. And we'll send the reserve cavalry up to help with that charge. Oh my god, this is... This is a little bit scary. Alright. Come on, you guys can do it. I know you can. You will not lose. You will not lose. You're gonna lose. Oh my god. Alright. Send you guys to charge up. There is a lot of British. Oh my god. You guys could run a bit faster. Don't take your time, please. I really do not like it when you take your time. Alright, these guys don't need to be in a box anymore. Look at this line. It's, this is actually a lot better looking than, say, Empire Total War. The enemy in that could not figure out their lines for crap. It was so frustrating to play it and watch the AI just bounce back and forth and get all their soldiers killed. It was so frustrating. 
And for a one-man dev, this AI is actually pretty impressive, and they... And, it beating creative arts in that regard, and that's a little bit sad. And they've engaged my artillery. God damn it! I didn't keep their flanks secure. That was that was my bad. But I think we might be able to win the spell. But it will be very close because they're breaking down this line here. Hopefully, my reserve cavalry will be able to push them back. And it looks like the British are losing that battle there. Uh, I don't know what's happening over here. All right, we're going to win that one. And what about this one? I can't tell. Uh, no, I think we're going to lose this one over here. But these guys will start firing, and these ones will as soon as the enemy is in range. Alright, I think it's time to move these guys. Alright, these reserves can move up just in case. How goes it over here? Alright, we've beaten back the assault. We'll shift them backwards. Behind the line. Alright, this artillery is still going stronger. Now I can change that ammo. Yes, canister shot. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm getting way too into this. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright. I can't do anything over there. Alright, uh, canister again. Okay, that can't do anything. How's I don't know what's happening over here. It's turned into a Chinese fire drill. Advance. Alright, looks like we're still winning. This is good. This li The line is holding, I think. But really, when it comes to Prussian infantry, there's always a bit of fear. Okay, the enemy f flank has collapsed over on this side. We can now begin at charging down this cavalry. And it looks like my soldiers are losing there. That's not good. Get them the fast march. Alright, how are they going over here? I don't know how this battle is going. This is quite intense. Alright, uh, these guys can get out of their box formation since the enemy assault has ceased. These guys, okay, they... Alright, looks like the, the Prussian assault has worn off there. Back to the line. Alright, yep, and get behind the barricade. Hopefully I did that right, it's not easy to tell. Alright, what's happening over here? Also, oh, what is with the frame rate? Alright, charge down the flanks. Not sure why these guys are taking their sweet time, maybe it's because they're fatigued or something. Alright, how goes it over there? Uh, should be fine. And it looks like this IR Schlaib thing is advancing towards me, but that won't work out well for you because they've lost over half their men. And okay, there goes a whole lot more. They're screwed. I'm not too worried about that charge. And the Prussians are attacking that group there, but they won't last for very long. Alright, do your thing, man. Okay, the enemy flank over there will collapse very soon. The enemy over here is still going strong. Let's have a look. They don't have much range. I love this new UI. It's so good. It gives me gives you everything you want in nice, easily packaged information blobs. Whatever. Oh my god, that was the worst way to describe it. I apologize, but it is very, very good. I am extremely happy with what the developer has done. So kudos to you, Oliver Keppelmuller. I think I pronounced that right. I probably, I think I did. Oh, this, I think the frame rate's going a little bit shitty right now because of how many, how much is going on the screen. There is a lot of information and line of sight things going on right now. Okay, it looks like that unit there is collapsing. Uh, these guys are still going strong. I might have to charge them. Actually, I won't need to. These guys are good, so we'll get them to do their stuff.
Alright, looks like we're very close to winning this battle, so we'll just speed it up a bit. That was a bad idea. Hopefully this battle will end soon, because... Alright, alright, alright. Alright, these guys are charging. Out. Looks like they've lost a bit more morale. We are very close to winning. Let's advance these guys up a bit more. This is going splendidly. And they've set up their squares, but that's okay. And that... Oh, I thought that was about to collapse for me. And we'll charge forward and deliver their coup de grace to this battle. All the cavalry will go forward and try to kill as many as we can just to seal the deal. Oh, uh, what's happening over here? That French unit is about to break. That is not good. Not good at all. Charge. Let's see if these guys can do any damage. Come on, I'm so close. Wait. I'm so close! Would you just die already? Alright, charge forward, charge forward. And I just realized everybody here is in a marching column, so that would explain why they not why they are not, aren't really packing a punch. Oh look they're running away. Oh, you cowards. Come on, can't you handle a basic cavalry charge against you? You pack of wusses. Oh, oh crap, they broke. That can't help my morale. Alright, when are these guys going to break? Oh no, they're retreating. That's not good. Alright, uh, I can't really do much with the cavalry now on there because the enemy has formed up a few box squares. I'm just hoping that these guys can throw enough punches at the enemy with volley shots and make them break. This charge should work out relatively well. Hopefully the enemy hasn't formed up into a box just yet. Alright. Oh, no wonder! This is infantry! Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, that's a fort, I think. Oh, no, actually I have no idea what that is, okay then. Alright, you know, we'll push these guys up a bit, just finish them off. The British are really quite determined in this battle. Why won't you die? Right, you're gonna die? You fi finally gonna just give up, please? It would just be wonderful. Alright, target you. Ta kill him. Kill him. Shoot him. And they're retreating over there, god damn it. I'm so close! This battle is just teetering on the edge of victory. This is so annoying. Alright, how goes the battle over there? I have no idea. Again. Move you up. Oh, this frame rate. Oh, finally. All right. How did we, how did we go? We lost uh, 1,329 units in total to their 3,473. All right. I'm relatively happy with that. All right. 
I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it managed to show off the new GUI, which is very, very good, and the new line of sight, which is very, very good. Um, <clears throat> if you did enjoy this content, please comment, like, and subscribe, all that YouTube crap that, you, that it wants you to do. I hope you have a good day. This has been Ho Hofstadt's Tortoise, signing off.